tonight on Trend Master News. Knockoffs? Well, the real thing. Are you being screwed over by eBay sellers from China or any other countries? When is Energon too much Energon? We'll have details here at 10. And TFCon Canada kicking off with some great items. More details later. This episode of Bot Shot Arena is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Com. There are many Autobots and Decepticons to choose from. Are you ready to rumble? Collect them all. The heroic Optimus Prime, armed with his battle trailer. It has a working catapult and flipping out guns. The maniacal Megatron, up to no good with his blaster cannons and working catapult action. Bot Shots, brought to you by Hasbro. Some assembly required. One of the latest things that has hit the eBay market was the Generation 2 Minasaur. This particular toy was never released back in 1994, and it sold for over $26,000 on eBay just recently. Quite a few sellers out there are a little niffed about this. So what ends up happening is TFCon has now just released their version of a G2 Minasaur. At TFCon in Canada, the Minasaur that was released a few months back was now re-released in Generation 2 colors. Has the hype hit us? Possibly. But this thing is definitely coming out in the markets. The very first one being released is Breakdown. And Breakdown is the one that was released in the BotCon of 1994 that was never a full-on release of the whole entire toy. A certain craze has hit the internet going through channels such as eBay and a few other online stores dealing with Hasbro and Takara's Masterpiece line. Quite a few of them being knockoffs of what was an official release. Although several of the releases have been brought up as the same quality as the originals, they are drastically cheaper, which makes people wonder that are paying Hasbro and Takara prices whether they are actually getting ripped off or not. When is there a limit to your Energon intake? I have to ask quite a few people out there who think that the Energon craze is getting crazier. More details later this evening. In TFCon in Toronto, quite a few items have now been debuted. Their fans project, Not Sludge. Not Sludge is actually a very large robot. It's not too big, but several people out there are actually raving about this such item. With his dinosaur mode being just as good as the robot mode that they have decided to release. The next thing quite a few people have been raving about is the Not Metroplex. Actually having in-hand items there allowed a lot of fans to be able to check out and see what was going to be available. Mentioned very early on was the Minasaur third party brought to you by Mach A Toys. Mach A Toys has now decided to release a Generation 2 variant which is a recolor of the original one. Mach A Toys has also brought out a full-on prototype in color of their not Computron. This such item has been long waited for quite a few Transformer fans. Along with quite a few fanboys are quite a few fangirls, also known as fembots. 
They are now releasing several of the fembots in different colors and different alt modes and robot modes. More details will be coming soon, but these are coming from Hasbro and Takara. Mark 8 Toys is now entering the market with another city bot. This city bot being as Scorponok. This particular one is going to possibly rival the not Metroplex that we have been seeing photos and also had in hand pictures at TFCon in the future. And the last item that is going to be hitting the Dinobot craze is paddles. This particular one is brought to you by Mechform. Mechform is a new toy company in the indie scene that's coming to Limelight. This is one of the first renditions that they're going to be releasing of their entire Dinobot line. 